Well, as you can see, my plastic grill has seen better days. So let's replace it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is get this whole assembly off the car, uh, not just the plastic. We're gonna take the whole uh, chrome shell off of it or stainless, whatever you wanna call it. And to do that, there's a total of six screws that hold it onto the car. So they're eight millimeter head. You got one here, and then you're gonna need a long extension to go in through here, and then through here. Now, be very careful, especially with these, that these can easily get lost in the hood. So what I've done is I got my little assortment of magnets, and I dropped a magnet down in my socket. So that'll help the uh, screw stick to the socket so that it'll tend to stay put when I pull it out and when I put it back in. So just a little trick, help things out. I've also gone as far as, you know, putting some tape, like electrical tape kind of sticking out to where it's a real snug fit on the socket head, you know, if you don't have a magnet handy. But I'm going to go ahead and take those three out on each side, so six total. And then just, you know, hold the... I'm actually going to do these outer ones last because they're the easiest to get to. And then just hold it, you know, because you don't want it falling down. And then you're going to have to guide it off of the uh, hood latch release, you know. Don't, don't break this little guy trying to get this thing off it should just slip right out though then once that's off we'll we'll work on getting the shell out uh you know on a work area uh, you really can't sneak the thing out with it in there because uh, it kind of goes through it all right now that it's off we'll be able to take the grill off but while i have it off i like to go ahead and just kind of wipe wipe it all down with some wipes and then up here as well you can see this gasket and on mine, this part of it was actually stuck out. So I'm actually gonna pull that up just a little bit. Evidently the last person who put this on missed that hole right there. So we will kind of move that back down and I'll stick it, stick it down with a little bit of uh, weather strip adhesive right there. But we're gonna wipe all this down. We'll push, peel this off and push it up just slightly. Um, just kind of lining all this up because it's kind of looks good right there, but the rest of it's kind of a mess. So we'll clean it off and get it lined up a little better, and that'll just make for a cleaner install. Um, but now that we've got this off, we can kind of see what's holding it down. So you've got a screw right here you're going to have to undo. Mine's already loose, about to fall out. Almost lost that one. Once you take those off, you've got a little clip in here that holds the grill. And then you've got a clip right here. So you'll have to undo those clips and then you can slide the grill out. So uh, I will show you all that. And then you're gonna have to transfer this clip and this clip over to your new grill. And of course, you'll put these back on once you get the new one on. You've got a screw here and a bolt here that holds your, uh, your grill emblem on. Um, so you have to undo that, and then the emblem's gonna fall off, so make sure you don't let that thing hit the ground, scratch it up. And that's pretty much it. So let me uh, go through those steps, and then I will show y'all, and we'll slip this thing out of here. And then once we get it out, we've gotta transfer the trim pieces over these over to the new grill. As far as getting these clips off, what I like to do is I take a screwdriver and kind of just put it in there so now it's not locked in. You can see how the clips kind of lock in place and then I'll have to use two hands. But I can take a, take some pliers here and just wiggle, wiggle it out. Well, I didn't even need two hands. So that works really well. All right, all clips are out. The grill emblem is out. As you can see, uh, it's just threaded. It's got a little tab 
that fits in a hole in the grill and then that nut goes on and goes through the grill and then you've also got a screw down here um, so yeah it's ready to come out we can slide it back just a little bit and pick it up from the bottom and then it's going to slide forward and you're just going to wiggle it out so and there it is it's out so i'm going to take some time and i'm just going to clean these ends up clean all that up wipe down all of this kind of just clean everything up just a little bit because it's a mess and then we'll just slide these pieces out you can see they slide very easily and these as well and they're just going to slide on to the new grill and this one's bent a little bit so it's going to be a little bit tricky if you see it bent kind of tweak it just a little bit that pretty much straightened it out it may be stuck on this end you may have to lift up just a little bit because it does have I'll show you over here see that little tab most of the time they're pretty much gone but sometimes they're still here so you can just lift up over that and they slide off again lift up over slides off over and off so we'll slide all these out and they are from what i recall different lengths so i'm going to transfer them over just as they came off so we'll know exactly where they came off so we're going to leave that like that we're going to get our new grill and we're going to transfer them over you can see where these slide on now on our new grill it actually does not have those little tabs so our original one is probably an oem grill and it, it's fine because when it fits in that shell these aren't going to slide out um, they should be just fine uh, mine for whatever reason this bottom was bent just a little bit and i tried to tweak it i mean it's a it's an aftermarket grill it's it is what it is so we're gonna use it as is i guess um so yeah we're gonna take this over we're gonna transfer all those chrome strips over and then our clips and then it will be ready to install in the shell like i said i'm gonna do some cleaning as well all right so i painted this a rust-oleum charcoal gray because i felt like that was pretty close to what the headlight doors look like it was actually quite a bit lighter than those even though i think this is a euro brand and those are euro brand i don't know if maybe this i don't think this i think that's clear but for whatever reason it was a lighter color and so i wanted it to match a little better so yeah so it's a charcoal gray it's got pollen all over it now too but i think it turned out okay-ish i'm not thrilled with it but it'll be okay so looking at our grill and looking at our trim you can see it's got a little slide place <laughs> a channel that fits over this so you're just going to start these on mine's a little bit of a tight fit because it's painted but you're just going to feed those on and then you know start it in the next one and this is the one that was slightly bent so it's wanting to go a little crooked but we will straighten it out give it a little bit of a modification and start it in the last one and there we go this one like I said it's a little wavy but it went on these are definitely not perfect they've got they're probably original they got a lot of miles on them all right let me do the other side and we'll be done and I'm just 
slide one off, taking it over. I've got these matched up so I don't lose track of which one goes where. So we'll just slide this one off. Then I'll wipe it down, throw a rag, a little wipe, and then slide it on. All right, we are ready to carefully slide it in. Uh, just, just wipe this down quickly, uh, just to kind of get it mostly cleaned up. And then uh, mainly focusing on the areas where they're inaccessible once the grill's in. Yeah, you can see how dirty all this stuff was. So we'll give it one final wipe down once we get it in. But we're just gonna do a one of these. Oh, our clips. Let me put my clip on here. So we're gonna pop these two clips off. I'm just gonna use a screwdriver. And uh, well, I'm gonna use my fingers <laughs> and just, we're gonna flip our grill over and just transfer those over. Actually, I'm gonna pinch them a little bit so that they fit tighter. That's better. And I'll do the other one. All right, so I've just kind of set the grill in here and then we just slide it forward since mine's painted I'm gonna be very careful with it but we're just gonna slide it forward and then it'll the, the bottom will fall into place all right it is roughly in position and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna just start my bolts in and then once I get them started that I mean this bolt and then the grill bolt and then I'm gonna see where my clips need to be. It looks like they're gonna need to be slid up a little bit. Those holes on the grill shell are slotted, or on the not on the grill shell, but on the grill insert are slotted. So we can shove those clips up just a little bit. And then we'll snap our clips in place and start the screw over here. We can go ahead and tighten down those screws but I wanna make sure everything's in place before I start tightening anything down. We wanna make sure it all fits, everything starts before we tighten down. All right, I went ahead and, two, and threw two bolts up at the top. This is just started, but I did put some blue Loctite on it. Uh, I actually had this nut fall off prior, and so when I put a replacement nut on it, you know, quite a while back, I, put Loctite on it. So I put Loctite on it again, just to make sure it doesn't fall out. So I've got one clip on here and you can see I just started this on. What you can do is just push down and just slide them on. So I'll do the same thing for those two. All these clips are the same, even though these bottom two have screws in them, they are the same style clip. So, um, you know, you can you don't have to keep track of which one goes where, basically. And last one over here. Pretty easy to install, one, one hand. And these actually need to slot down just a hair. And that should line just perfect. And so now we're gonna tighten down this one. Like I said, these are just started. And then once this is tight, we'll tighten this down and before actually yeah i'm going to tighten this down and then i'm going to look at the grill and make sure it looks uh straight and then i'll tighten that top one down well my grill shell is not the best but it fits pretty good um the once you get everything where you want it i will tell you to slide this center piece all the way down because once you start tightening down the grill, it's going to suck in at the top. And if you don't have all those way down, it will, uh, you know, this trim will keep it from sucking up all the way. If that makes sense. But we are all together. And I mean, I think it looks pretty good. I did throw an additional washer 
the plastic is a little more flimsy on this grill. And so I didn't like how it was fitting. So I just threw a bigger washer on there. I know, um, not the best thing to do, but hey, do what you gotta do. So just gonna put these two screws in, but I wanted to check all my fitment first. I think it looks good. Everything's tightened down. So these screws, and then we put it back on the car. And as far as reverse instructions, um, I'm gonna start these two first. And I will not tighten them all the way up. And then I'm gonna start these four and get everything started before I start, you know, tightening anything down. And then I'm gonna look at the grill, make sure it's all, there's not gonna be much adjustment in it, but I'm just gonna make sure it all looks good. You know, it's not higher on one end or shifted to one side. If all looks good, we'll tighten it down. So I'll bring y'all back once we're done. Again, use something to hold the screws so you don't lose them in the hood. So magnet, electrical tape, something to make a tight fit on the socket so it doesn't fall off. You don't want to lose those screws in the hood. It will rattle forever. All right, it is installed. And I think it looks good. Molding definitely is not sticking out anymore. It dropped down a little bit, but it's definitely higher than it was. Um, you don't really see that anyway, but I straightened it out a little bit. And my emblem's pretty, pretty well faded and my hood ornament's not in the best shape. And my grill's not the best shape, but grill shell looks pretty good. Um, magnet worked great, didn't have any issues with them falling or anything. Um, so yeah, just tight or started them all, checked it and then tightened them down. If you're like me and you painted your grill, you might want to paint your hood pool, but I didn't. And don't forget to install that thing. It goes in the second slat. So first slat, second slat down and install that. You can see it's the one with the missing vertical slat. So I'm going to shut this gently. Make sure everything looks good on the sides. Just kind of check fitment. We're a little bit closer over here, but that's not a grill shell alignment issue. All right, now. So let's step back. Very subtle, but I think it looks good. I think it goes well with the headlight doors and that's my goal. It's a little bit darker than them, but uh, it would have been quite a bit lighter and I definitely like darker better than lighter. So that's it. Not too bad of a job. Uh, just take your time, kind of clean things up as you go because it gets really dirty and grimy in the back side of that grill shell. So yeah, get you some little cleaning wipes and clean it all up. So if you're like me and you're gonna paint the plastic grill shell, I would probably recommend using an adhesion promoter. I did scuff this up before I painted it to try to um, maximize the chances of the paint sticking. And this paint is uh, supposed to stick to plastic. So we'll see, I guess. My fear is, you know, it's exposed to rock chips and stuff like that. So I think it's over time it's probably gonna chip but we'll see but yeah I like it so thanks for watching leave a comment down below hit the like button and subscribe for more